Namaste. I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as a dermatologist for nearly more than 16 years and the director at Nirma Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagara, Bengaluru. What is a healthy skin? Healthy skin is actually a flawless skin. So when I say flawless, I am not actually commenting on the color. So any color skin, if it is flawless, that is what is considered as healthy. So it can be skin of any color. It can be a lighter shade or a darker shade. So the main concept or the main idea of healthy skin is the skin which has a uniform pigmentation which does not have a lot of dark spots or skin growth or a lot of scars or open pores that is what is meant by a healthy skin. So how do we ensure that we have a healthy skin or how do we try to maintain a healthy skin or how do we achieve this healthy skin. So first is whenever we want to improve first is we need to know like how to take care of it. So if at all we want to have a healthy skin, skin is an indicator of your internal health, first to take care of your internal health. So eat well, sleep well, exercise well, three things are very important to have a glowing skin. Eat well means basically it has a lot of antioxidant and protein rich food. So a lot of fruits, vegetables and a lot of nuts. So nuts have a lot of minerals, it is rich in protein. So these ingredients improving or maintaining the skin in a better way. Second thing is omega-3. Omega-3 maintains the skin barrier. The skin barrier contains two components. One is the fat component and the protein component. So we need to take a look at both of these things. Protein rich food with good amount of healthy fat that the omega-3 that helps in improving the skin and maintaining it soft and smooth. Antioxidants basically reduce the free radical damage. So there are a lot of chemical processes happening in the body, a lot of damage happening from outside which liberates free radicals. All these free radicals are neutralized by antioxidants and these are there in fruits and vegetables. Then comes the maintenance of the skin, good barrier. So good barrier is maintained by using mild cleansers and using a lot of moisturizers. Next important component is sleep. Why are we giving so much of importance to sleep? That's mainly because we are worried about the hormones in the body. See, everyone knows that the thyroid tablet has to be taken early in the morning. Why is it? Because thyroid secretion peaks in the early in the morning. The same way, during night, there is a hormone called as melatonin which gets secreted. The peak secretion of this hormone happens by around 10, 30, 11. Naturally, if one hormone secretion gets affected, then it's going to disturb the entire environment in the body, right? So the same way, if this melatonin secretion does not happen properly, then all other hormones can become abnormal. So how do we maintain a good secretion of melatonin? So we need to sleep before 10, 30, 11 so that the hormone can secrete in the right manner. Second, when you are sleeping, the light should be off because whenever there is light, melatonin does not secrete. So for the melatonin secretion to happen, one, there should be darkness. Second, you should be sleeping. So for that reason, sleeping before 10, 30 with all lights off is very important to have a good skin. Third, exercise. Exercise is more like a cleansing. So whenever we exercise, we are removing the free radicals from the body and we are actually stimulating the stem cells. So naturally, it helps in maintaining a good skin. And more important, the skin is actually supported by the deeper structures, the fat layer, the muscle layer and the bone. So we need to have a lot of calcium rich food. We need to take vitamin D supplements if we are deficient. We need to exercise and have good food because we want the muscles to be nice. And we need to eat healthy with good fats. See, it is not that we should eat only protein. We should avoid completely carbohydrates or fat. So human body requires all of them. It needs carbohydrates, it needs fat, it needs proteins. So we need to maintain the fat layer also to have that smooth, soft skin. So we need to maintain the fat layer. So after this, then the skin comes on the top. So to have a nice, smooth skin, you need to take care of all the layers beneath the skin as well.